Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will code and see various get mapping example in Spring Boot. Get mapping annotation maps your HTTP get request into your specific handler methods. So if the method is having get mapping annotation and the URL pattern matches to the request mapping pattern, then your method is going to be executed. Now talking about the content of this video, in this we will see get mapping with string get mapping with list where the method will return a list of string and then we'll talk about the real time scenario where get mapping will return an object or the list of object and then object by id so let's begin here i have created a spring boot project using a spring initializer and imported to eclipse you can create it in any ways you are comfortable with and just make sure that you have this spring boot started web dependencies added in your pom.xml before you proceed so let's jump to the coding now and the first thing that we'll do is we'll create a controller so i'll go to this package class and i'll name this controller as get mapping now in this controller we will provide this annotation as rest controller and then we'll give request mapping so that the request will be mapped and land under this so i will provide a url pattern as get now the first method that we are going to create here is a string so we will create a method which will return a string value so public a string and get a string method and this should return a string value say like a spring boot project in a real world scenario th there could be a situation where you just want to return uh, employee name suppose or the item details Okay, so in such scenario, we just need a simple method which will return a string. That's where this comes into picture. Now, in order to make this method as a get, so we will provide a get mapping annotation where the pattern I'm going to give as string. Again, you can choose your required or the meaningful name here. Now we will create the second method which should return a list. So it should return a list of a string. And I will give the method name as get list. Now we will create a list. List of string. I will name this as list only. And then I'm going to use array dot as list under which I'm going to pass few string parameters since it is a list of string. So item one, then suppose item two and simple item three. Okay now we will return this from this method so return list now it is giving me some error let's see what is that list of string now the error has gone now again in order to make this as a get method we will make this as get mapping and i'll provide the url pattern as list now in the third method that i'm going to create is will return a object or the list of object actually Okay, so in order to do that, we first need a Java class to be created, which will work as an object and I'm going to return that Java class. So for that sake, I have created item class. And if you go and see here, then there are three variables called item number, item description and item price of various data type as int, string and float. And then I have created a constructor and then their getter and setter methods. So I'm going to return this item details using the get mapping so for that let me create a public and then this will return a list of item class and i will name this as get object you can provide any method name here now let me create a object of list so it should be a list of item then i will give a variable name item list and then it should be arrays dot as list and we will provide an item list here so in order to do that we will create a item object and pass the variable so if i go to this item class then the first parameter it needed like while uh, in the constructor is item number then description and item price right so item number i'm giving as one item description as item one description and third is price which is 100 i'm going to copy this and then provide two more things so the second item number will be two and next three accordingly the description should be just modified 
and also the price. So now our item object is now ready. So what we will do next is return item list. Now in order to make this method as a get again, we will use get mapping slash object. Okay. Now this is one way of returning a list of object, but this is not more practical way of doing it. Okay. So we will now first run this program and then I will show you how you can modify this particular code because this method is something which is a real time scenario where you will get to return if you look at any uh, web services then it's actually return object most of the time because it's all about the communicating the data right and in java program the data is basically there in the form of object so first we will run this project so far that we have written and then we will modify it further so i'll go to spring boot application class right click and run as java application now the application is started and then i'll go to get mapping controller so i'll go to the browser so localhost 8080 slash get slash string see we have got our string back okay so this is the first method that we have written now we will call the second method localhost 8080 slash get slash list now this should return me the list of string so here you go we have list of string now in the third example that we have seen is list of object now we have list of item object provided as a response for this get mapping if you really have a web services which deals with a lot of data then it is always suggested to have it in the java class and then you can send it as a response whenever you need now let's come back to this and next i'm going to show you like in a real world if you are coding any get mapping or any kind of a spring boot development then we will not have our much of our code like this in controller class that's where we are going to utilize the service and the other component of spring boot so let me create another method now this method will be exactly same as of this so i'm going to just use the similar data type i'll name this as get object 2 and i'll provide this as get mapping of object 2 so now i want this method to return a list of item okay but i don't want to code it into this controller class for that what i have done is i have one service class called get mapping service let me open this so now in this service i have get all items method defined now what is the job of this method so this will do all the business logic implementation into this class and make the necessary DAO layer call which will actually make a DB call to get the list of all those items from the DB and then it will return the list of item. So I'm going to skip this business logic and database call in this video right now which we will be covering in the subsequent videos. Now so far what I want to show you is I have a list of item object where I am adding this item class okay so right now this is hard coded but when you will have a real call then definitely we will be fetching all these details from the db okay so this method is returning me a list of item so i'm going to use this get all item method from my controller class now in order to use that service i need to create the object of that class right so get mapping service now now I have injected that service into this controller and I will use at the rate auto wire annotation which will help me to get the object of this service class. Now once I go there service dot get all items. So this method will now return me all the item details which is there right now hard coded inside this method. Okay so I am going to return this service dot get controller. Now the next example I want to show you is I will fetch the item based on the ID. For that I will create a method which will return me list of item. I will give a name like get object by ID. I will provide a get mapping here where the URL pattern will be object by ID and ID will be provided in the URL pattern itself. 
So after the object by ID URL pattern, whatever is going to provide, I'll take that as an ID for search. Now, in order to fetch this ID, there is something called path variable. So now this path variable int ID will have whatever is provided in this get mapping URL. So now I have access to this path variable in terms of this ID. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I need to fetch the object by ID. For that, what I'm going to do is I will call a service class. I will give this method name get item by ID and I'll pass the ID here. Now, since this method is not created, it's throwing me error. So I'll create a method here. Now this method will help me to get item by ID. So let's do that. So the first thing that we would need is we need all the items, right? So I'm going to use this method to get all the items. So this method will return me all the items. Now in order to fetch the item by ID, I'm going to use Java stream API and then I'll filter it based on item ID. So for each item, I will get the item number and then I will map it with the ID which is coming along. Then I will collect that response into a list. So collector dot to list. So this will give me the item which is having this matching ID. So I'm going to return this as a response. Now change method return type to list of item. So now we have a method which will return me item by ID if I provide the item number. So now I will go back to the controller class where service dot get item by ID will return me the items. Okay, I'm simply going to return that and our job is done. Okay, so now let's go back to the server. We'll stop it and then rerun. Once the application is started, then we'll go back to the browser and I will type object to so this is another way that uh, we had implemented in order to get the item where we had used the service class. So if I go back to the controller, so we had already implemented get mapping with object. Now the second thing that we did was with service slash item two. So object and object two URL pattern will give me the same results. So let's verify that object is also giving me three items, item one, two, three, and object two will also give me the same thing. Now the next thing that we are going to try is object by ID, right? So object by ID and if I provide one, then that should return me item one details and that's where. So we are getting item one details. Now let's change the item ID three, then we are getting item three details. So let's quickly summarize of what we discussed so far. We had created a controller which will specifically for the get mappings example. That's where we have created the first method which will just return me the string variable. Then we created second method which will return me list of string parameter where we have created a list of string and we just returned it from the get mapping of slash list URL pattern. In the third example of object, we had created a list of item object using this new item keyword directly and feed it into as list parameter and then we return that item list from this method. Then in object to URL pattern, we implemented the same thing, but we used more real time scenario based situation where we should not code anything in the controller class. That's where we came to the service and we have created a get all items method and returning item list from this method. Right now item details are hard coded. Then coming back to this controller, we have created one more method which will return me the ID, which will return me the item details based on ID. Okay. Now, if I go to the service class, get item by ID, this is a one liner code, which is going to return me item by ID. So with that, we have completed the content of this video. Now in the next video, I'm going to talk about Spring Boot REST example with post mapping. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for upcoming Java boosters.